Okay, is it uh, visible, Sumit? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, so we were discussing uh, the condition equation. After discussing the observation equation, the second equation that we, uh, that the method which we discussed was condition equation method. So just to make sure that we properly follow, let me quickly remind the condition equation method once again, so that we pick up more examples. That is necessary to have much more examples through which we can we can solve it. Uh, parallelly, what I will do, I will share uh, a few more examples of observation equation method to you on MS team so that you could, uh, you know, go and try to solve as much as many problem from observation equation method. So in condition equation method, primarily we, we were interested in looking at the problem from a different perspective, isn't it? And in that case, we, we also discussed that uh, what, what is necessary for, uh, for a particular uh, model to get solved. So in that condition equation, or which is also known as non-parametric. Why it is non-parametric? Because in this, there is no parameters are involved. Non-parametric, that's the new word. I'm writing it here in the new sheet. So I'm just highlighting. It's non-parametric. And the observation equation method is parametric. When I say non-parametric and parametric, I meant to say that in the observation equation method, you have x, a, or u variables. Okay. You have u number of parameters that that is that are needs to be estimated. But in the case of non-parametric, you do not have u. That means u is zero. You only have observations, isn't it? You have only observations. See, uh, I understand that at at initial introduction, it is little difficult to pick it up. But when you solve problems, it will uh, make you clear idea how to proceed in these two models. In fact, in observation equation method, you have started solving uh, the assignment also. In the condition equation method, uh, you have only observations. You do not have any parameters to be estimated. And in that process, what you need to understand is that what would be the redundancy? The redundancy would be R, R which is here in this case, would be N minus N naught. So in the case of uh, redundancy compared to observation equation method was the N minus U, but here it is N minus N naught. That means total number of observation minus the number of observation that are uh, required to define the system, define the model, which is your uh, problem, okay? And obviously this problem looks like uh, the, the mathematical model for this problem looks like as FLA is equal to zero. I'm again focusing on writing the function as LA or XA. Why? Because this the when the word is adjusted as a sub, subscript is attached to the observation parameter, only then you can your equality will hold. If you, you cannot write like this, L F X L is equal to no Your raw observation equality will not hold because uh, that would not define the problem. So that is one more again one more time. I am just telling you, and F L A is equal to uh, zero is the system of uh, equations for condition equation model. What you have to do, you have to linearize it. If it is a nonlinear system, if it is a nonlinear, you will linearize it by at L A is equal to L U. So this is uh, what you have to perform. In the case of observation equation method, you were uh, differentiating, partial differentiating the function fxa by xa because xa were the variables that you were that you were interested to find out. Here in the case of linear equation, uh, uh, sorry, in the case of linearization, you will linearize the FLA with respect to LA in the case of uh, condition equation method. So when you linearize that function value at L is equal to LB plus partial derivative with respect to the variable at L is equal to LB and then LA minus LB is equal to zero. Okay. If you could uh, recall in the case of 
uh, observation equation method, you have fx is equal to ma. That's why these this term, and I'm, I'm, I'm again highlighting the term that this term is absent in the observation equation method because la is on the right hand side and it is a linear form it is available but in the case of uh, uh, condition equation method it is available in non linear form as function of la is equal to 0 so i hope you are uh, you are uh, you know uh, following it uh, with the uh, with complete intention so that we'll uh, try to solve today too many problems so that we could finish the observation equation and combined equation method today. And tomorrow probably uh, you all will be having uh, uh, one class uh, during the laboratory period uh, that will again focus on extending this uh, the content that will uh, will not finish here. And uh, there is one more announcement for all of you, although I have communicated through Sumit that on 26th of uh, November you will have your laboratory exam because we have to finish it by Sunday uh, as per academic calendar and there is no further uh, dates available to it. So uh, uh, that means uh, we will finish it by Friday. You will have viva as well as some exam written exam. So be prepared. The content which is covered. I'm not uh, uh, telling you about the content that are covered by Dr. Manohar and Dr. Sonam. But what I can tell you that uh, whatever content that I have covered through Vipin, you have got the demonstration. So that all will be coming to you in a in a in examination form. You have to you will be asked to write certain questions. You have, you will be asked to write certain um, uh, solutions for a particular problem that you have to solve. It is better that you properly revise all all possible video lectures. Uh, the slides that are given to you in independent Google content also so that you will be able to answer certain questions. OK, so my segment sir, will be of. Yes, sir, some are confused about uh, which lab uh, practical will be there. All three or single one. Uh, all labs, all labs means uh, I'm that's that's what I'm telling you now. Um, maybe probably tomorrow uh, if Dr. Manohar's class is there, he will uh, tell you in more detail. But let me tell you in a very quick summary that you will be having 15 marks question from each segment. That means uh, 15 from my segment, 15 from Dr. Manohar and 15 from Dr. Sonam. That will goes up to 45. Then you will have a viva of five marks that will give you 50 marks. OK, then uh, there will be a quiz that we will be taking uh, maybe on Saturday or Sunday or Monday whenever we get time. So you will be evaluated for 50 marks of assessment. So these there, there are two segments. One is examination and another is teacher assessment. That 50 uh, marks of assessment will be given based on your performance of uh, performance during the laboratory, your interaction with the, uh, the faculty members as well as the TAs as well as you, how, uh, the performance in your quizzes. So this 50 marks is a whole sum. OK, so maybe if you include 10 marks quiz, then 40 will be decided based on the teacher's assessment. So that's how we will we'll plan to do. Every faculty member is is planning in a, in a similar fashion. So but your examination will be that is uh, your focus should be on 26. That 50, 15, 15 marks, three segment would be there that you will have to perform. That will make you uh, 45 and then five marks for viva that will be started just by 930. OK, so uh, you please be prepared. Try to read, uh, revise the content. OK. OK, so. We were coming back to your. Uh, discussion on condition equation method that we were. Doing. Yeah. So uh, in this FLA is equal to zero, you will rewrite it, and then uh, FLB is, is equal to FLB plus BV is equal to zero. Then FLB is nothing but a value that becomes a W. BV plus W is equal to zero is the is a, the linearized least square based condition equation model. Okay. In the case of uh, observation equation method, this was your model. So uh, the idea of these models, maybe you will be a uh, little confused or I would say you will have doubt that what are the 
uh, what are the importance of these models so please remember um, uh, how do you how do you start to find the solution for these problems please remember you you will start with based on reading the problem you will start with like this fxa is equal to sorry fxa fxa is equal to la this is the nonlinear equation in order to get the solution you have to linearize it fla is equal to zero. this is a nonlinear equation in order to solve it you have to linearize it so these are the nonlinear version of your problem this is the linearized version but one more time what you need to do we need to understand that this v is equal to ax minus l or b bv plus w is equal to zero these are the uh, I, I hope you have uh, got a uh, little introduction about when we were talking about the least square solution that they are blue in nature. That means they are best, they are linear, they are unbiased estimates of the problem. So in order to meet this linear, we have to linearize it. We cannot find directly the nonlinear solution from these equations. We have to linearize it. Every time we have to linearize. That's why they are best. They are linearized. Okay, they are they are estimated through the linearized model. Okay, this is uh, you need to understand at this point. Okay, so again, your basic uh, equation is uh, y is equal to VTPV, but here we have extended the model a little bit to uh, get the solution for our required problem. Y is equal to VTPV minus 2K transpose PV plus W. And then we solved it uh, partial derivatives and then we reached at this few intermediate solution, which is for K BP in minus BP inverse B transpose whole inverse W, then K would be called as KM M plus W. The equation is available. Then we'll got B, there's a residual matrix, and then we form this this whole decomposition of equations that will uh, summarize our solution. In fact, we started one problem also, uh, which you you can solve very easily. In fact, uh, we extended this problem to triangle problem also, where we will solve it. This. Okay. So any any doubt in this? I, I'm just curious to find your doubts. If it is if it is any there, uh, then we'll move further. So suppose you have uh, one problem that I'm trying to give you. Suppose there's a problem. This is the centroid. This is A, B, C, O. And then you will all have all angles are available. All kind of angles are available. So alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, alpha 5, alpha 6. Alpha seven, alpha eight, alpha nine. So you have all nine equations are available to you. Okay. Any anyone remaining? No, no, nothing. And now, if I'm I'm trying to ask you to solve this problem using condition equation method. So now, in your mind, the first step, the first step, if if the problem needs to be solved by condition equation model, the first question that comes to you in your mind is that. What are the possible equations? So, now you think about what equations in this problem can be done. Now, what
can you think of this the the equations so equations are very simple if you take the first uh, triangle this so you can write the equations obviously in the adjusted form okay similarly you have you will take these triangles these triangles you know and then an outer triangle also although uh, you have to make equation in such a manner that uh, no two equations can uh, you know add or subtract to third equation so the linearly independent equations is our objective to form okay so if we if, what what is the problem what is the reason is that suppose if you have made one equation from this another from this another from this so what will happen the when you take outer triangle they will automatically be computed from the in, inner three triangles so the fourth equation should come from the summation of all all these internal three okay this leads to how much how much how many how much angle for this third fourth one the 360 degree so that's how you have to form the equations so uh, your next problem which we were solving now my uh, i'm giving you a little time uh, 5 to 10 minutes that what you have to do you open your uh, uh, previous image from this class that i've circulated for level net problem if you open the level net problem the image there is one image that i've circulated uh, you what you need to do you need to solve that level net problem by using that loop aap kirchhoff law apne padhai hoga using that loop closer you can you can solve the level net problem that was our objective because in 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 the level net problem i have given certain observation through tabular information i have given the figures also and there is a level net which is available to you now you have to form the loop close you have to take the hint from the kirchhoff law of loop closer and you have to solve that problem or not completely solve just give me the equations if you can write the equation because they will be coming in your examination also no in the end semester examination so you have to form the equations so when you can write those equations automatically those equation if it is non linear you have to linearize it and if they are linear you have to arrange it in this bv plus w kind of form remember in the previous case we have arranged this in, in v is equal to x a minus l or delta x a minus l this form but to now using this lobe closer kind of concept you have to write this in bb plus w kind of so just uh, use those uh, uh, your uh, basic loop closer concept and write this equation and try to present your uh, level net problem which uh, the figure of which i have already sent you if it is not available to you if you want right now i can also send it again there is no problem but the only issue is you should have this uh, asumit can you please share it again here if it is with you okay sir just only uh, um uh, uh, try one point that uh, what you need to understand is no two equation can no two equation if you can add or subtract can give the third equation so they are they should be properly linearly independent equations you have to form for pv plus w just try to see
sir i have shared okay that's great thank you please use those this this file if you do not have and try to solve this level net problem see it is the end of the semester now you only have four five classes remaining and before examination it is expected that you take care of your practice uh, you, you take the help from the notes and practice on your on, on your notebook the more you practice the more confidence you will get in trying to solve so many uh, complicated problems using these very simple observation equation condition equation kind of model okay so i'm just uh, waiting for a few minutes uh, then i'll quickly switch on to other segment of the other examples problem
हाँ भाई बताइए कैसे बनाया वैली शेट्टी आप बताइए सर सर दिस लेवलिंग टॉपिक आई 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 अटेंड द द क्लास एंड ट्राइड अ लॉट ऑफ डाउनलोडिंग प्रीवियस रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो बट द अटेम्प्ट्स फेल सर दे आर नॉट बीइंग एक्सेस्ड बाय माय सिस्टम सुमित हैव यू डाउनलोडेड द वीडियो फॉर दोस दोस क्लासेस यस सर आई एम of 9th november and 11th november i missed two classes sir on tuesday and thursday and those classes i am unable to download so sumit you can please share to all of you those who have not downloaded okay sir okay sir chali bhai kon bata raha hai आप लोग ऐसे बोल ही नहीं रहे हैं आलोक बताइए यस सर इसमें सर मैंने जैसे एच ए एच सी एडजस्टेड माइनस एच सी डी एडजस्टेड माइनस एच डी एडजस्टेड इक्वल टू जीरो ये फर्स्ट इक्वेशन हो गई सर एक पॉइंट से दूसरे जस्ट वन मिनट जस्ट वन मिनट हाँ हाँ बताइए फिर से बोलिए सर एच ए सी एडजस्टेड माइनस एच सी डी एडजस्टेड माइनस एच डी एडजस्टेड इक्वल टू जीरो ये सर एक लूप में घूमेंगे तो ये जी आ, एक ये तो ये तो आ, ये तो आपने वैल्यू बता दी ना हम हमने तो आपको ऑब्जर्वेशन दिए हैं आपने अनोन से इक्वेशन बनाई ना वो कैसे बनेगी संभव ही नहीं है वो सर इसको एक्सपेंड कर देंगे ना एच सी ए माइनस एच ए सी को एच सी ए माइनस एच ए नहीं नहीं आप समझे नहीं ऑब्जर्वेशन आपके पास क्या है ऑब्जर्वेशन है लेवल डिफरेंस के ठीक है हाँ आप आपके पास ऑब्जर्वेशन है लेवल डिफरेंस के तो इक्वेशन भी लेवल डिफरेंस की ही बनेगी प्लीज रिमेम्बर आपकी जो ऑब्जर्वेशन है वो कैसे बनेंगे आपके ऑब्जर्वेशन ऐसे बनेंगे एफ एल ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो आप पहले देखिए कि मेरे ऑब्जर्वेशंस क्या क्या हैं। तो ऑब्जर्वेशंस के फंक्शन को आप प्लस माइनस में डाल के आप लूप बना के जीरो कर सकते हैं और अगर आप ये बोलेंगे एच सी एडजस्टेड प्लस एच डी एडजस्टेड प्लस एच ए एडजस्ट ये जीरो नहीं होने नहीं नॉट दीज आर नॉट योर ऑब्जर्वेशन दे आर अनोन्स टू बी फाउंड आउट ठीक है तो इस कंडीशन इक्वेशन के प्रॉब्लम में आपको पैरामीटर्स पे जाना ही नहीं है पहले सर हाँ सर मैं जो बोल रहा था वो ये लेवल डिफरेंस बता रहा था मैं एच ए सी मतलब एच सी ए माइनस एच ए एडजस्टेड मैंने एक साथ लिख दिया है उसे आ, मतलब आप ऑब्जर्वेशन डिफरेंस ही बता रहे थे हाँ जैसे एच ए सी फिर सबफिक्स में एडजस्टेड तो इसका मतलब एच सी ए माइनस एच ए अच्छा अच्छा ठीक हाँ, है तो, हाँ, तो अभी वो वो ब्रैकेट को फर्दर ओपन करने की जरूरत नहीं क्योंकि आपका ऑब्जर्वेशन में काम चल जाएगा अभी अच्छा क्योंकि आपको ऑब्जर्वेशन से ही मतलब है ना आपको मैंने अभी प्रॉब्लम दी और सीधे का फाइंड आउट द एडजस्टेड ऑब्जर्वेशन वंस यू गेट दी एडजस्टेड ऑब्जर्वेशन फर्दर ऑन यू कैन राइट एनी मॉडल Based on the adjusted observation, है ना? तो लूप में जो पहला लूप आपने चूज किया उसमें आपको ये देखना है कि जैसे मैं एक लाइन लिख रहा हूं आप देखिए उस उस प्रॉब्लम की कि एच बी एडजस्टेड एच बी ए है ना एच बी एडजस्टेड माइनस एच ए एडजस्टेड तो ये ये लाइन क्या बन रही है डेल्टा एच बी ए की है ना या ए बी जो भी कह लीजिए तो आप yes. इसी में, आप इसी में लिखिए इसको मत ओपन करिए है ना 
तो आप बताइए जरा उसका कारण यह है कि आप जो यहाँ पर लिखेंगे जैसे सपोज आपने कहा डेल्टा एच ए बी एडजस्टेड प्लस डेल्टा एच बी सी एडजस्टेड माइनस डेल्टा एच यू नो ए सी एडजस्टेड अगर आपने ऐसे लिखा है और फिर इसको जीरो किया तो यहाँ वैल्यू आपको लिखने का मौका मिल जाएगा सीधे क्योंकि ये वैल्यूज आपको पता है तो सर यही तो बोल रहा हूँ मैं हाँ अरे मैं तुम्हारी बात समझ गया जब तुमने दूसरी बार बताया मैं बस ये कह रहा हूँ अच्छा। कि आपने जैसे ये वैल्यू लिखी है बस यहाँ पर वैल्यू डाल दी जाइए सपोज आपकी वैल्यू क्या है अब इसको ओपन क्या करना है एक्चुअल ओपन क्या करना है ऑब्जर्वेशन को आपको ओपन करना है अब मैं इसको ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं लिखूंगा मैं सिंपल लिख सकता हूँ लेट से ये अल्फा वन एडजस्टेड है ये पूरा टर्म अल्फा टू एडजस्टेड है ये पूरा टर्म अल्फा थ्री एडजस्टेड तो आपको लिखना है अल्फा वन प्लस वी वन क्यों क्योंकि अल्फा वन एडजस्टेड को अल्फा वन प्लस वी वन बोला जाता है अल्फा टू एडजस्टेड को अल्फा टू प्लस वी टू इसको अल्फा थ्री प्लस वी थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो अब अल्फा वन क्या है रॉ ऑब्जर्वेशन वो आपको पता है वन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन प्लस वी वन इस टाइप से या अगर आपने ऑब्जर्वेशन की नंबरिंग टेबल के हिसाब से कर ली तो टेबल में जो भी आ रहा है ये जिस नंबर पे आ रहा हो सपोज आपने टेबल में ही वन टू थ्री फोर के हिसाब से जो टेबल में ऑब्जर्वेशन है उनको वी वन वी टू मान लिया है तो उसके हिसाब से यहाँ पर एंट्री देख लीजिए कि ये वन आएगा या थ्री आएगा या फाइव आएगा जो भी है मतलब सो so, उसके हिसाब से एंट्री कर दीजिए तो जैसा भी आपको लगे आप दोनों फ्रीडम है बट टेबल टेबल में ये सीरीज पता चल जाती है कि दैट योर ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट आर गिवेन इन द टेबुलर फॉर्म सो यू कैन स्टार्ट taking the one first observation and corresponding residual as v1 second observation corresponding residual v2 third observation corresponding residual v3 okay so now once you write the three equations you will get three equations one two and three equation now in that equation also you have three internal loops that you can use or two internal one outer but you cannot use three internal and then four outer one because all three will conclude and give the outer one so they will not be linearly independent so you you can you have to choose very wisely that you will uh, arrive at the uh, so called linearly independent loops and now once you will have this bv plus w equations you can write like this v1 v2 v3 up to v6 plus w is equal to 0 so so uh, in this v1 v2 you corresponding you will have all 1 1 1 0 0 0 like this 3 cross 6 6 cross 1 6 cross 1 any any doubt because this is the high time to ask your doubt because uh, many problems in the condition equation method requires little little uh, more clarity and observation on how to write those equations if you have to if you do not have the clarity on how to write those equations then there will be a problem you may miss some equations or you may overwrite certain dependent equation and that will not be uh, acceptable and you will not get the solution so if you have any question then you can ask otherwise what i'll do i'll i'll share one more slide both on observation equation as well as condition equation that i'll i'll share one slide where multiple problems are being solved through observation and condition equation method that will help you in your while practicing and solving multi more multi more problems okay so if you have any question in this problem then please let me know if you do not have any problem i am just uh, 
giving writing uh, the, in the meantime the figure for which you have to again I'm giving you five ten minutes to solve or think of the problem because it is a, a, a very basic trigonometrical relationship that you have to follow basic coordinate geometry that you have to follow to write those equations. OK, so these are the problem from braised quadrilateral. Now you need to understand about what are the properties of a braised quadrilateral that you can use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A, B, C, D, then this O. So in the case of based, raised quadrilateral, eight observations of angles are given from alpha 1 to alpha 8. You take consider 1, 2, 3, 4 as alpha 1 and alpha 2. These are all alphas, okay, internal angles. I, now you have to think of the equations that you have to write. So please tell me uh, required number of equations one by one, just write in your uh, uh, in your uh, notebook those equation, and please let me know.
चलिए भाई सुमित बताइए आप सर इसमें तीन इसके आ, सारे के सारे एंगल्स का समीशन जो 360 होता है तो आ, सारे एडजस्टेड वैल्यूज को माइनस थ्री सिक्सटी टू जीरो करके क्वेश्चन बन जाएगा उससे पहला ठीक है सर इसको आ, सर एक ही इक्वेशन बना के तो हम लोग करेंगे फिर इसको फिर हम एडजस्टेड वैल्यूज को फिर हम ऑब्जर्व इक्वेशन ऑब्जर्व वैल्यूज में कन्वर्ट करेंगे ना अरे कैसे सॉल्व कर लोगे भाई कैसे सॉल्व कर लोगे जब एट जब एट ऑब्जर्वेशन है एक इक्वेशन से कैसे सॉल्व होंगे तो मैं कॉमन सेंस नहीं है सर देन हम ट्रायंगल सारे मतलब कि ट्रायंगल्स में कन्वर्ट करके सर उसके एंगल्स का सम माइनस वन एटी कोस टू जीरो करके लिखे नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज दैट विल गिव यू दिस थ्री सिक्सटी काइंड ऑफ इक्वेशन ना वो भी नहीं कर सकते yes. आप लोग को ब्रेस्ड क्वाड्रिलेटरल पता है पहले ये बताइए उसके बाद की बात आगे बाद में की जाए कि ब्रेस्ड क्वाड्रिलेटरल क्या होता है सर ब्रेस्ट ट्रसेस सुना था सर जिसमें ब्रेसिंग की जाती है ताकि एक दूसरे जॉइंट एक दूसरे मतलब दो जॉइंट्स एक दूसरे से डिस्टेंस बढ़ ना सके उनकी तो उसकी प्रॉपर्टीज क्या होती हैं जो उसकी प्रॉपर्टीज होती हैं वही यहाँ पे यूज होंगी जैसे उसमें ये प्रॉपर्टीज होती है कि फर्स्ट प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस फाइव टू प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू सेवन प्लस सिक्स ये सारे एंगल्स की बात हम कर रहे हैं ये तो हो गए एंगल्स रिलेटेड इसके अलावा आपने जो ऑब्जर्व आप लोग यही प्रॉब्लम करना है ना कि ये ऑफलाइन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग और ऑफलाइन टीचिंग का डिसएडवांटेजेस यही सब ऑल आर ब्लैंक एकदम आप लोग बैठ रहे हैं कुछ रिस्पॉन्स ही नहीं है इसमें आपका ये जो सेंटर पॉइंट ओ है इससे जो ट्रायंगल बन रहा है इसमें आप साइन रूल लगा सकते हैं तो नाउ ओ ए अपॉन ओ बी इज इक्वल टू साइन वन अपॉन साइन एट देन ओ बी अपॉन ओ सी इज इक्वल टू साइन थ्री अपॉन साइन टू ओ सी अपॉन ओ डी इज इक्वल टू साइन फाइव अपॉन साइन फोर देन ओ डी अपॉन ओ एज इक्वल टू साइन सेवन अपॉन साइन सिक्स आप ये ऑब्जर्व कर रहे होंगे ओ ए यहाँ पर है तो यहाँ पर है अपर में ओ बी यहाँ बॉटम में है तो यहाँ पर है यहाँ ओ सी है यहाँ तो आप इसको सब मल्टीप्लाई कर दीजिए लेफ्ट हैंड साइड को राइट हैंड साइड में तो यू विल गेट वन इज इक्वल टू साइन वन साइन थ्री साइन फाइव एंड साइन सेवन ऑल ऑड साइन टू साइन फोर साइन सिक्स एंड साइन एट देन यू टेक लॉग ऑन बोथ साइड देन यू राइट लॉग साइन ऑड माइनस लॉग साइन इवेन Is equal to zero. तो ये आपकी फोर्थ इक्वेशन हो जाएगी और ये आपकी तीन इक्वेशन और है। इसके अलावा बताइए कोई और इक्वेशन अगर आपको लगता है बन सकती है तो लेकिन अगर आप सोचेंगे कि हम ट्रेंगल से ऐड कर लें तो जब आप इसको यूज करेंगे और इस, इसको यूज करेंगे इसको यूज करेंगे और इसको अलग यूज करेंगे तो जो पहली इक्वेशन है वो सब आपको मिल जाएगी If you have got four equations, so आप बी एस डब्ल्यू बनाइए 
तो इफ यू हैव फोर इक्वेशन फोर क्रॉस एट एट क्रॉस वन फोर क्रॉस वन आपके पास बी वी प्लस डब्ल्यू तैयार है रियली प्रॉब्लम आप लोग करिएगा मैं एंगल्स आपको बता दे रहा हूँ 48 डिग्री ये असाइनमेंट जो भी है उसका नेक्स्ट पार्ट का पहला क्वेश्चन रहेगा और आप याद रखिए कि बिना मैटलैब के सॉल्व के मैं असाइनमेंट एक्सेप्ट नहीं करने वाला हूँ प्लीज इंश्योर कि आपका जो सोल्यूशन है वो मैटलैब का ही कोड का आंसर लगा हुआ हो होम असाइनमेंट का जो भी मैं नेक्स्ट अपलोड करूंगा कंडीशन इक्वेशन वाला उसका ये पहला क्वेश्चन आप मान के चलिए कि इसको आपको सॉल्व करना है ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर ऑल दीज क्वेश्चंस दैट विल बी गिवन इन वेदर इन एग्जाम्स और एनी काइंड ऑफ एग्जांपल्स फ्रॉम द बुक दे विल बी ऑल बेसिक कोऑर्डिनेट बिकॉज अदरवाइज you cannot solve uh, uh, you know very complex problem if you do not know the necessary equations so these these problems that will be given to make you aware about coordination equation model that will arise only from the basic trigonometrical relations basic coordinate geometry relations that you are aware of only thing is that you are not thinking deep enough to write those equations that you have to okay so you have basic basic quantities or fundamental quantities is p v is equal to uh, these these quantities i'm i'm just writing for condition equation model these are the basic quantities for condition equation why why am i emphasizing on it because we have only now get the solution but the error analysis is still not done please remember in the last uh, class also we have done the uh, error analysis where we were more interested in find out the qlala qxa xa qvv you know so we were interested in finding out this in the error analysis used for condition equation method we need to find out such thing so if we have to find out the qvv let's say so first of all we need to find out v is function of what we do not know this what is this so from a basic equation we are writing v is equal to p inverse v transpose k so p is constant v is constant what is b b is del f la upon del a, uh, sorry del f la upon la del la at la is equal to lb so this is constant weight is constant the only thing is k what is k k is m inverse w v is equal to p inverse v transpose minus m inverse w what is m m is p p inverse v transpose w and this whole inverse so this whole alpha is constant but what is w w is a function of lb that means qvv 
can only be written alpha this alpha q l b l b alpha transpose or if you if you want to better write in a very clear form you can remove q l b because now you know what is w q w w now you know what is w w is a function of f l b so that's why if you write q w w it will be written as uh, sorry, FLB, isn't it? So when you open the FLB, FLB is a nonlinear function that will be first linearized del FLB upon del LB QLB LB del FLB upon del LB transpose. Now you, you do not uh, confuse in this is Jacobian. Q L B L B Jacobian transpose. Please remember in error propagation, if your function is nonlinear, then you do not write C C transpose. You write J J transpose. So this is for linear, this is for nonlinear. So here it is your nonlinear. That's why you write Jacobian. Open the Jacobian like this. So when you write del F L B by del L B, that becomes B P inverse B transpose or QLB you you are well aware that it is P inverse. OK. Any any questions? Any doubt? Because you must be knowing what is your QLB LB. Because in the previous previous uh, uh, segment of uh, what should I say the uh, observation equation method, you know what is QLBLB? It is weight inverse. So now if you know what is QWW, you can simply write it here after writing the alpha and alpha transpose. Similarly. The QVB would uh, be solved and as will be available as P inverse B transpose M inverse B P inverse. You just have to open it up and you will get the solution. This QVB is also nothing but QLB minus QLA LBLB QLA LA. Now what is a QLA? Now you have to think what is QLA? LA? So QLA is function of LB and V. How? LA is equal to LB plus V. So both are variable. Both are variable. Okay. So QLA LA would be P inverse or can simply write it as Q LB LB minus Q V V. So P inverse minus this Q V V, which is P inverse P transpose M inverse P inverse. If you want to derive it directly from function LA, so just open the LA. LA is equal to LB plus V. Now what is V? LB plus what is V? V is B. Uh, uh, just a minute. Yes, so LA is equal to LB plus V. So what is V? V is minus P inverse. B transpose M inverse function of LB. OK, then you have to replace this FLB with something so that LB could be taken it out. Isn't it? How would you take it out?
f f l b which is your function of l b you can take it out if you know what is function l b Is it possible to get this function? This was by principle. You can uh, write it down if you know the principle. This is the solution. So what you you need to look into, you need just need to look on whether the function of LB is present in this in a particular problem or not. So if a function of uh, LB is present, that means multiple function of observations are present, then only you can proceed further from here. Otherwise, you will have to work from here only because you cannot take simply LB common if you do not know the function. That's what I'm saying here. It is a we are talking about the single observation vector observation here. We are talking about the function of observation. So there are two are different things. OK, any questions? Let me just again revise so that uh, you feel comfortable with the content. We have the fundamental quantities as this. Where are the fundamental quantities? These are the fundamental quantities. Please remember V, A, W, and L, A are the fundamental quantities. So if you have to make analysis of Q, V, V, how do we do it? Q, V, uh, sorry, V is a function of something. We have to find out. Then we can write the error propagation equation. So we know V is equal to P inverse B transpose K. P inverse is constant, B transpose constant. Only K is variable. Why K is variable? Because K is M inverse W. What is what are the component of M? M component are B, P inverse B. They all again are constant. Only thing is W. W is FLB, function of LB. So you can write QVV as alpha QWW alpha transpose. You do not know QWW. You again go from equation W is equal to FLB. So QWW is Jacobian QLB LB Jacobian transpose, which become B, P inverse B transpose. So you will write QVV as P inverse B transpose M inverse B P inverse. If you multi, if you replace this QWW here in between, so that will give you QVV. Then you have to write QLLA. For writing QLLA, you have this equation called LA is equal to LB plus V. And if you have to write QLLA, it would become QLBLB minus QVV. Then you know what is QLBLB. It is P inverse. You know what is QVV, which is you have solved before. And you get the solution. There is another way to get the QLLA if you go with this equation QLLA is equal to LB plus V. But for that, you need to understand that you should have this function information well before to you. Only then you will solve it out. If it is not available, you can work with here because here it is one is vector, another is function. OK. Any questions? So all these methods, whether it is observation equation method, whether it is a condition equation methods, uh, you need to please understand that every equation that you are writing will lead you to every possible opportunity of solving the error analysis part also. OK, the third method, which is very popular and very robust also is called as combined method. Now, please remember we have solved in observation equation method this model, condition equation method this model. But what if your model is like this? That means you cannot separate it out that your problem looks like this or this, but in, in fact, it is a combined one where you cannot separate the. You cannot separate the parameters with observation. 
So if you have fx is equal to L A, and if it is a non-linear, you have to linearize it with respect to x is equal to x naught and L A is equal to L B. अब भाई थोड़ा सा linearize तो करिए आप लोग कैसे linearize करेंगे इसको? Uh, when you when you lean rise this problem, you will see an amalgamation of observation equation and condition equation lean rise version would be there in your model lean rise model. Just try to uh, reach to that point. ओके वल्ली शेट्टी बताए वॉट वुड बी द लीन राइज वर्जन विशाल बताए विशाल बताइए लीन राइज वर्जन क्या होगा
अरे भाई आलोक काफी बताइए कोई तो बताए तो कम से कम आगे तो बढ़ाइए आलोक यस सर बताइए सर गलत भी हो सकता है बस सोच रहे थे सर इसमें जैसे एफ जो फंक्शन दोनों वेरिएबल पे डिपेंड कर रहा है तो पार्शियल लगाएंगे बिल्कुल तो पार्शियल लगाएंगे तो फिर एक बार डिफ्रेंशिएट होगा एक्स के रेस्पेक्ट में जो जिससे कि हमारी ऑब्जर्वेशन वाली इक्वेशन आ जाएगी लेकिन एक ही इक्वेशन बनेगी ना टोटल मल्टीप्लाई हाँ, इक्वेशन हाँ तो एक ही बनेगी लेकिन सब मल्टीप्लाई में आ, ये एल आ जाएगा और इक्वेशन रहेगी अपनी ऑब्जर्वेशन वाली फिर प्लस में फिर प्लस में ये कंडीशन इक्वेशन आ जाएगी और मल्टीप्लाई में एक्स हो जाएगा नहीं नहीं ऐसे नहीं ऐसे नहीं ऐसे नहीं चलिए देखते आप लोग लिनराइज नहीं कर पा रहे एफ एक्स सी एल एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स नॉट एल एज इक्वल टू एल बी तो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट हो गया पहला ठीक है Are you getting it? When you linearize any model f x, कैसे linearize करते हैं? पहले first of all function value at x is equal to x naught. तो यहाँ पर आपके दो variable हैं x c is equal to x naught और l a is equal to l b. Then the function whole function partial derivative with respect to one of the variable at x a is equal to x not l a is equal to l b multiply by x a minus x not plus del f whole function again by another variable at x a is equal to x not l a is equal to l b multiplied by l a minus l b Ignoring higher order term is equal to zero. So this is first. This is your uh, this is your first component. This is your second component, and this is your third component. Now first component is nothing but W because it's a it's a constant plus. This second component, this one. That is partial derivative with respect to x a at x a is equal to x not l a is equal to l b would become a design matrix, and then the third one is, and the second component has this partial delta x a term plus this partial derivative with respect to l a at x a is equal to x not l a is equal to would become b, and this l a minus L B is nothing but V is equal to zero. देख लीजिए एक बार आप. एक बार आप लोग यू प्लीज री राइट दिस अगेन दिफरेंट थ्री कंपोनेंट दैट आई रिटर्न सो दैट यू गेट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ टू लीन राइज दम्बाइंड मॉडल
any any question or any doubt alok is it clear now yes sir Okay. Before moving further, let us uh, take one example. So, in uh, your uh, home assignment one, I have given one problem where x and y are uh, given as coordinate x one, y one. Points information are given x one, y one, x two, y two, x three, y three, and x n, y n. So, let's say n number of uh, coordinates are given x and y and you have to write the best uh, fit line or uh, you know y is equal to mx plus c is equal to 0 the best fit line equation is this similarly y2 minus mx2 plus c is equal to 0 and so on you can write yn minus mxn plus c is equal to 0. So problem can be made easy if you if you are given such coordinates like this. These are the coordinates and you have to find the best best fit line. What is the best fit line? So equation of best fit line can be solved if uh, if you consider this uh, case. So in this case, if let me tell you is that uh, one one aspect is that the error is available in both x1 as well as sorry xi as well as yi that means in the home assignment one i have given problem where you have to consider error in only in y not in x but here i am giving you the problem where you have to consider error both in x and y please remember the problem if you have error in both how would you approach the problem so this problem yi minus m xi plus c is equal to 0 or i is equal to 1 to n. This problem where your error is in y as well as x, this becomes a function of xa is equal to xa comma l is equal to 0 where xa is m and c and l is yi and xi. आप इसको बताइए कैसे इसको सॉल्व करेंगे कंबाइंड से अब देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम यू डू नॉट हैव टू लीनराइज इट इट इज ऑलरेडी इज अ लीनियर मॉडल व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू राइट इट एज दैट bv plus a delta x plus w is equal to 0 यू हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस सो b इज वेरी सिंपल if you do not know what is b, b is very simple. Del f x a comma l a by del l a at l a is equal to l b. Then what is a? a is with del function whole function upon del x a at x a is equal to x naught and l a is equal to l b. Just to make sure, otherwise I'll be writing in a different manner. But if you are, if you have to find out what is B, what is A, this is very, very straightforward. You take function with respect to LA, add XA is equal to X, X naught and LA is equal to LB. So here you see observation would only come with y. There is no uh, uh, value with uh, observation value with x. 
isn't it? So if you if you linearize it with respect to B, which is LA, you have two components. One is XA, XI, and YI, isn't it? So how would you write? So your uh, V would become V X one, V Y one, V X two, V Y two, because both are observation. Na? Both vectors have observations. X three, V Y three. And when you differentiate this equation with respect to first, uh, with respect to X, then second with respect to Y, you will get obviously minus m 1 0 0 0 0 and so on then 0 0 minus m 1 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 minus m 1 and so on i'm just taking the case for 3 so this become 3 cross 6 within bracket 6 cross 1 then what is you differentiate with respect to xa so when you when you differentiate with respect to xa what you will get bataiye This is uh, the component of with respect to the so called del uh, uh, F XA, comma LA with respect to del LA. Now LA has two components one is X, X1, XI, or Y, both the point coordinates, isn't it? You have the point coordinates as your observation. So when you differentiate one by one, then you obviously it would become n cross 2n. Now what I'm interested in, how would you solve for? Now this is the this is the BV part, isn't it? And the W part is very easy. This is this is the BV part. The W part is very easy. You will get y i naught minus m x naught i naught plus or as within bracket c is equal to zero. So all vector value from i is equal to one to n, be it three or four, whatever, you will get this linear initial values. Then for a x, a delta x, what you will do? At function value with respect to x a at x a is equal to x naught and l a is equal to l b. So what is your x a? x a is your m and c, isn't it? So first you will uh, go for m, then you will get minus x i, and then you will go for c, then you will get. 1, 0, 0, 0. Then 0, 0 minus xi, 1, 0, 0. And then 0, 0, 0, 0 minus xi, it would be minus 1 because c is also. So that will become delta m and delta c. Sorry, I have written in, in the three cross two only. So these these brackets would be there. Is it, it? It will be a would be three cross two, two cross one. So I've written this. Uh, 
in in a different fashion. Sorry for I just got in that flow. So this is a delta X. This is your W and this is your PV. Now, in order to solve, because if you get PV plus AX plus W, you know, BB plus AX plus W, you have to solve it. So for solving, you have to open the PV plus AX plus W equation. And then obviously phi, which is VT PV minus again, similar to previous 2K transpose, BV plus AX plus W is equal to zero. Then del phi by del V, which become 2V transpose P minus 2K transpose B. Then make it equal to zero. Then V transpose P minus two, sorry. V transpose P minus K transpose B is equal to zero. And then is equal to zero. Make transpose on both side. And then you'll write PV is equal to B transpose K and then V is equal to P inverse B transpose K. Then please remember here, here there are two variables. One is V and another is del phi by del X, which is minus 2K transpose A, which you have to make it as equal to zero. Take transpose on both side, get transpose on both side. Then you'll get A transpose K is equal to zero. So this is your first. This is your second. First and second. Now you have to write the equation in the matrix form. So we'll today we'll see matrix within matrix. So I'm just uh, filling it down for uh, your understanding, just wait for a moment. Here you have to deal with N plus U. Why? Because N number of observations and U number of parameters, both are there in the system. Here you have weight matrix, which is obviously N cross N. P transpose is there. So this would become, initially B would be R cross N. Why? Because you have to partial difference with all possible observations. So if you have n equation, n function, so you will or r function, you will write r function and differentiate it with respect to all n's. So this, this b transpose would become n cross r because b is r cross n. Then this v is n cross 1, k is r cross 1, u is x is u cross 1. So if it is n cross n multiplied by n cross 1 would become n cross 1. So this would become n cross 1. This n cross r multiplied with r cross 1 would become n cross 1. That also makes this 0 as n cross 1. What is this? This is n cross u multiplied by u cross 1 would become n cross 1. Similarly, the b second multiplication. So this b is r cross n 
multiplied by n cross 1 would become r cross 1. This 0 multiplied by r, uh, r cross 1. So this would become r cross r multiplied by r cross 1 would become r cross 1. Here you would be multiply r cross u would become multiplied by u cross 1 would become r cross 1. The second one, last one is u cross n multiplied by n cross 1 would become u cross 1. Second, a transpose. That means u cross r multiplied by r cross 1 would become u cross 1. And the last one is u cross u multiplied by u cross 1 would become u cross 1. So first equation is for observation. Second equation for condition. And third equation is for parameters. That is the summary. So in the case of condition equation method, you will have a uh, you have a, you will have a large vector uh, matrices and you have small matrices inside these matrices. So this would become A, X, N, L and X would become A inverse L. So here when you take the inverse of A, so A is not a simple matrix, but matrix within matrix. Just take a look. And in the case of condition equation method, you have to have all number of observation plus sufficient number of conditions should be greater than you to get a solution. So if I differentiate the three equations, observation equation method, condition equation method, and mixed model or. So here it is N cross U. Here it is N minus. Here N should be large than U, then only you should get a solution here. Since there is no U, N should be greater than N naught. That means number of observation required to define the problem and here. N plus R should be greater than U. Similarly, in the case of observation equation method, you have V transpose P V transpose upon N minus U. Here you have V transpose P V transpose R. And here you have V transpose P V transpose at R minus U. These are the A posteriori variances which are required to justify that you have chosen reference variance as one, nearly one. What is the value of sigma naught hat square you are getting? So that in order to get a green flag, in order to get a green flag out of your adjustment process, you need to understand that. Sigma naught square and sigma naught hat square. One is called as a priori variance reference variance factor. And again, it's called as a posteriori. Posteriori means after adjustment. What is the reference factor? 
so they will be compared to find out you have done the adjustment process uh, statistically acceptable or not that will be uh, a challenging task but in general if you follow the protocols that uh, we have decided and we have solved you will generally get the solutions appropriately and they will uh, get a green flag uh, these these uh, these comparison of sigma not square and sigma not head test square are part of your hypothesis testing that will be covered later on but here only you need to understand uh, how this uh, results acceptance criteria would be prepared so these are prepared on sigma not So this equation, uh, this matrices equation, see very much clear. I hope there will be no issues. These are just combined way of representing this first, uh, this uh, this uh, so-called first, second, and this BB plus AX is equal to these third. So these three equations are presented in this fashion. If you see PV, B, B transpose K is equal to zero is this equation this equation then second is bv plus ax plus w is equal to zero is this equation and the third one is a transpose k is equal to zero that is the third equation so we are just have combined three equations to write in a matrix form that's all we have done there's nothing rocket science that you cannot uh, understand it's very simple that is the best way to summarize the three equations that we have prepared. Now moving ahead, what we can do, we can write V is equal to P inverse B transpose K and we can uh, put in, in one of the equation. This uh, PV is equal to B transpose K and A transpose K is equal to zero. It is available. So what we can do, we can write it in this v value is here so p so we can write this uh, v in bb plus ax plus w is equal to zero so in this equation so b p inverse b transpose k or if you Right, like this k a, a a transpose zero k x minus w zero then this whole will become m m a a transpose zero a x is equal to minus w zero so m k plus ax is equal to minus w one equation and second equation is a transpose k is equal to zero so k is minus m inverse ax plus w and you put k here minus a transpose m inverse ax plus w is equal to zero then minus a transpose m inverse a x minus a transpose m inverse w is equal to zero then x is nothing but minus a transpose m inverse a whole inverse a transpose m inverse w so this is your x which which uh, which is there in this equation of BP plus AX is equal to W. This is your X.
which we have to find out. So in your previous uh, point, M and C would be part of your X subject to availability of A, M and W. And obviously M is B, P inverse P transpose. So with this, uh, we can uh, have the solution for it because if we have to find out the solution for a combined model, which is nothing but FXA comma LA is equal to zero in this kind of fashion, if it is written, the solution would be given by this. What is X? Obviously, the LA would be LB plus V. So you have to find out the V. V would come from this equation, which is P inverse V transpose K. Now the home exercise that you have to solve using this is VTPV is equal to minus K transpose W because you are must be aware that I have told you in the all three equations you have to find out the posteriori variance reference factor. So in this first case, V trans VTPV obviously had upon n minus one u is for observation equation. VTPV upon R is for condition, but here in the mixed model, VTPV is you have to prove it is written as minus k transpose w, but that will be computed very shortly. But you have to find out how that is your exercise, home exercise, you can do it. So these are the three types of models that uh, one can uh, possibly arrange any problem that uh, he, uh, you know, uh, he or she faces when reading any adjustment problem. So whenever you read any problem, try to first think of the appropriate model. When your model doesn't fit in any of these, then there is a problem. Otherwise, most of the problem fits in in these three models only, which is observation equation, condition equation or mixed. If it is mixed, you have there, there will be little more time you will take to find the solution, but it is very straightforward. And there would be a lot of questions on uh, mixed model also. Uh, so I'll upload today uh, the uh, the assignment for condition equation and mixed model. Only two two problems are there. There there are not much problems. Only two two problem for condition and two problem for mixed model. But you have to do it in MATLAB. That is the main uh, criteria. Because if you do not write these in MATLAB, you cannot solve a six cross six kind of matrix or eight cross eight cross eight kind of matrix because problem is having let's say twelve observations. So if if twelve observation there, then there must be some matrix of twelve cross ten or twelve cross eight. How could you inverse it? How could you you know possibly get a certain solution out of these matrix? These problems are not for only two cross two kind of matrix. So you have to uh, think of alternate solution that will come from MATLAB. So uh, tomorrow we will uh, extend further from here and try to touch upon the basics of hypothesis testing that will be covered uh, in your uh, segment. So we'll see how much we can cover uh, tomorrow and how much we can start in terms of uh, solving the uh, or, or or accessing the hypothesis testing, but we'll take much more um, two, three, four more examples on condition equation and observation uh, on mixed model tomorrow before to move further. OK, so any any questions? Sir, uh, will we be getting the ID password for MATLAB from college? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure, but the 